Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and enjoying this beautiful sunshine. We're coming up to the harvest full moon tomorrow and then we have the equinox on Wednesday on the 22nd of September. So the energies are really potent at this time. The full moon is illuminating everything now emotionally, physically, mentally, that is no longer serving us. So during this time, it's a time of really going within. The harvest moon is all around harvesting, so reflecting on the past, the past six months, 12 months, and even further at any triggers that keep presenting themselves, any train of thought that keeps coming, any emotion because the, this moon, this full moon is in Pisces, so very emotional. So any of this that may be occurring in your life, know that it's coming up for our awareness. So if we're stepping into an old pattern that really starts to drain us, we have the choice in that moment. So these old patterns are coming up at this time, coming up into our awareness for us to choose. So if as soon as we open our eyes in the morning and we start to go into those old emotions, that lower ebb of feeling, we have the choice of no, no, I am changing this. Allowing it to come up into our awareness, not suppressing anything, not pretending it's not there, not suppressing and working anyway because then we become exhausted. Looking at and allowing this energy to come into our awareness and then choosing that that's no, that's not, I'm changing this, I'm changing it now. And as we change it, going into a place of feeling how we would feel if we didn't have that energy, emotion, thought form within our lives, coming back into alignment, feeling the excitement for life, coming because that's the truth of who we are. We are immense beings and whatever we focus on we're going to create and as we move up through the dimensions our awareness will be going to now all patterns even stronger than ever before this full moon is lighting illuminating everything that is not in alignment with our higher self so when we come back into alignment with our higher self of feeling excited when we open our eyes and if any feelings other than that come in is no change and and because this is the truth of who we are that is an old pattern they are everything every word that's been said to us that wasn't encouraging or loving that that is what's been brought up to us at this time and if we choose to, we can go back in and have a real old banquet on old emotion. When we step back and realise that when we're doing that, we are releasing cortisol. We are releasing chemicals within our body that create not nice feelings. When we look at the excitement of life and we are moving now into the autumn equinox where the balance of light and dark is, is the same. So it's reminding us that this harvest is coming up, bringing up everything, all the chaff that that is not serving us, but we want to hold on to it for some reason. Maybe because we're not aware it's there. So once it comes up and this energy is bringing all that up, for us to shine this 
light of awareness onto it. Uh, no, I'm stepping into change. I'm stepping into alignment with my higher self. And letting go of all the past. Everything that's weighing you down. So I'm coming in today and I'm pulling three cards for us all. And I'm going to ask for some guidance through today for the equinox, for the harvest moon, asking the angels to please come through and bring us any messages that we need to know at this time for our highest and greatest good. Know that we have a divine who's listening to every nuance, every thought, that every time we are happy, we are given something else to be happy about. This is our divine self. This is the divine that emanates from us, guiding us. Once we wake up from the past, once we wake up from those old emotions and thoughts and feelings, we then come into a clear awareness of who we truly are. And that is a beautiful feeling. So I'm asking now the angels, and I pull three cards, and I will ask for a reading for our highest and greatest God for the collective, setting the intention, and I'll also read the base of the pack as well. So I'm asking some to just flew out there, so I'll read those as well. So there we have one, two and three. So the first card is the High Priestess, Archangel Aniel, is helping us and guiding us through these moon phases. Archangel Haniel is the Priestess and is reminding us to go within, within our heart, come out of our minds, come out of that illusion of what's happening around us, coming back and sinking into our hearts because that's where all our wisdom is. We are all the high priestess wizards. It resides within us, the magic is within us, not in our minds not out there, actually within us. Archangel Aniel is guiding us to go within, really doing the cultivation now. The moment we come into our minds and our minds start to overthink, we know we've stepped out of alignment to come back in, take a deep breath and tell our minds, no, no, change, I'm changing and sinking back into our hearts and going into the, the love that's there, the unconditional love, because up there in the higher dimensions, none of these emotional states, no illness, no, no judgments, none of that resides in the higher dimensions. And all that is head stuff. So when we come into our hearts and really move and act from a heart space, speak from our hearts. And when we speak from our hearts, we will never say, and this is another thing about words, we will never say anything that's detrimental, that we don't want to manifest in our lives because our spoken word is it goes out there and creates and we can use our words as for healing or we can really use our words to damage someone and again Archangel Aniel is asking us to go within but being aware of how we're affecting people around us as well being peaceful letting go of any triggers if we're feeling triggered at this time because this moon is so powerful and illuminating everything that is not of the higher dimension and if we start 
fighting with it and overthinking and getting upset, we that's the old pattern, that's the ego. When we let go and tell ourselves no and bring ourselves back into alignment with our higher self coming back into our heart and focusing on our beautiful intentions, not just for ourselves, but for the whole planet, then we come in back into alignment and our mind, uh, the, the pathways of the mind start to create new, new snappets, new pathways that come in and start to release endorphins in our body, healing within the body, upliftment. So Archangel Aniel is saying, have patience. We're going through a shift at this time. The whole universe is going through a shift at this time. More importantly, planet Earth and everybody who resides on our, most of the people who reside on our, are going through a massive shift. And it is to have patience. Have patience with ourselves and with everyone around us because we have no idea what anybody is going through. And then the second card is the six of a thing starting to balance. And as we do go within and come, in, come into our heart space, instead of going back into that hypnotic state, that sleep that we, we're just allowing our illusion to run riot and we're projecting all kinds of energy out all around us. When we do come in and we are the high priestess and we are the wizard, that magical essence of who we truly are, things start to balance. Good karma. We start to incur good karma. We start to, in, this is one of finances, an increase of finances. So finances coming into our lives, good things coming into our lives. Karma debt being paid every time we let go of a painful emotion and infuse it with love. That is a karma debt paid. If we keep holding on to it and try and fix it out there in the, our reality, we just keep incurring more and more karma. Just sit down, be ultra aware at this time of anything that is coming up to the surface, coming up for awareness. And that's all it's doing, coming up for awareness. We don't have to delve in and start going into uh, fixing it or trying to understand why. It's just, right, this feeling is a part of the old me that wasn't nurtured with love and is coming up now. And do I want to feel all that? Do I want to stay in that energy? No. And in that moment, change, change your thoughts. Just look out the window, do something to change your thought. And if it comes back again, just know that we have this choice of really allowing it to overwhelm us or we're going to change, changing, because that is not who we are, that is, that is what other people have projected onto us based on who they think that we are, and it's far from the truth, because we will only project who we are onto someone else, so when we let go of all those projections, things start to come into balance. And then the third card is the Nine of Fire. So the Nine of Fire tells us don't give up. Sometimes it's really difficult, challenging, these challenges coming to us. And this is a time of harvest. This is, do I want to hold on to that energy that I don't want to get out of bed in the morning? Or I don't want to go to work? Or do I want to hold on to that? Or am I going to just choose a better thought of, I'm really excited about life. I'm really excited to, to have time with my family or friends or feeling that excitement. 
bringing ourselves up into the higher vibrations holding on to what's important to us and as we hold on to the truth of who we are and give everybody space to be the truth of who they are without trying to interfere and let everybody off the hook of making us happy because that's our responsibility no matter who close a person is in your life it is not their responsibility to make us happy it's ours and as we raise our vibration and choose happier thoughts happier feelings we come into alignment then to bring more happiness into our lives the three that fell out the first one was the five of water so the five of water tells us that we're looking and we're not we're looking at past disappointments we're looking at um spilled milk you know crying over spilled milk there's bigger things that uh happening in the world but this is just a reminder we've got those two full cups there absolutely full to focus on that because if we keep looking at all that that's not manifest in our lives yet or what we perceive as missed opportunities we are incurring that same energy when we look at look we've got those two full cups there that are absolutely full of good things and focus on them and really expand on that on that feeling and with the understanding that if nothing's worked out whether it be a relationship career whatever it is if it's not worked out it weren't meant to and when we understand that we come into alignment with who we truly are because if something has moved from our lives it's because we're not in alignment with it when we come into that true alignment looking at those two full cups and that is relationships when we get the two it's a relationship coming in forget about all the pain of past relationships let that go and keep an open mind completely open mind don't have an expectation on anything in your life completely open and grateful for everything in your life because being grateful really is the highest vibration to bring abundance into your life. The next one was the moon, of course. We've got the moon, we're coming through and we're coming up to this full moon, we're on the healing moon. So anything that may be coming up for you for releasing, do your work, letting go now and keep sitting in how you would feel with none of the old energy, with that stuck energy. How would you feel? Feeling everything in your life is at peace. No conflict. That finances are coming in, everything's paid, how nice and what peace that brings realizing that however other people are reacting to things and maybe projecting things upon us that that's nothing to do with us that's there that's something going on within them and not to take it personally to realize we're all going through this phase we're all here we're all going through challenges that we we're all here we haven't ascended so everybody is facing a challenge it might not be there on the surface but there, there's something and it is to really take a step back take a step back from any conflict don't get involved this archangel Aniel now has come up twice in this reading the moon this moon it it illuminates anything for this harvest for the equinox for us to let go of now 
so that we can take what really lights us up from the inside out hold on to the to all those feelings everything that we do that lights us up from the inside out to hold on to those and that's what we harvest and then we build on it might just be a little thing but then we start to build on it but it's we build from love and joy and in alignment with our highest self so Archangel Aniel is with us she's the grace of God so anything that's going on that's coming up know that it's coming up for our benefit it's coming up for us to realize that we are we've incarnated at this time to ascend and if anything is coming up that is not of in in the higher dimensions there's only the purest of love so if anything's coming up that's not that if we are, are losing faith even if we're are we losing our self-belief if we're losing if we're coming in to doubt because our manifestations aren't coming in fast enough and we start looking at everything that we've not got then we are going to keep going through the same challenges might be different people might be a different surrounding but there'll be more of the same they, it, it, it will never we won't ever change that so the moon and this harvest time is bringing up the chaff and saying look this is here this is in you this is what you're carrying do you want to carry it any longer this old this past us do we want to carry it any longer and if it's not serving us it's absolutely not so change 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 and then the world completion all the planets are there as above so below the planets are working and we've got quite a few planets now getting ready to go into retrograde so we we're starting to feel the benefit the effects yes benefits but the effects of that as well so anything that's coming up is showing us that let's look at things from a different perception and the world is all about completion so this is the final card in the tarot card deck so we've traveled through all those challenges and we are in this place of completion and when we come into this place of completion that's when we, something new starts to come in our lives as well so look out for new opportunities coming in at the moment you we start feeling happier new opportunities start coming in that gave give us that that experience so these are really beautiful cards today and strength archangel ariel reminding us to stay strong stay focused not to be swayed by whatever's going on on the outside realize everything is an inside everything if, if something's out of alignment on the outside go within and do some inner work looking at how things are uh, making you feel because ultimately that's a vibration as we are thinking we're we are creating we're sending that energy out to create and our emotions draw the experience in so if we're thinking of something that we don't want to feel that, that we don't want that experience now is the time to cultivate let go so i hope you're all well i haven't been around for a while but it's so so lovely to be back um i'm so glad to be back okay thank you so so much thank you god bless